this is Mike Goldberg, the voice of Bellator MMA. Great to be podside once again, set to enter the podcast right now. Our tale of the tape, the current undefeated champion of the world, Captain Hooter, defending his title once again. And I can tell you, no champion has ever defended his podcast this many times, well, since podcast began. Can he do it again? Let's find out. Here we go! It's Captain Hooter. Hola, hola, everyone. Captain Hooter here coming to you high and alive once again. And we are on the last few days just before the fifth edition of the Jack Hair Cup. And we have back again, Mark, the master, the head of Jack Hair Cup EU. How are you, sir? Thank you, Captain. I'm doing great. Um, it's been, uh, well, three roller coaster weeks. <laughs> A lot yeah, you're of down stuff to the wire for the pre preparation. Yeah, it's the fifth. Uh, uh, it's our anniversary, so we have to do something extra. And uh, also, we have uh, four extra judges uh, uh, this year. Instead of six, we now have ten. I had nine last week, but then I have somebody who, who's coming from Germany, and he was like, uh, "I have my buddy from the company. He would love to take a week off to judge with us." I'm like, "Yeah, man, let's do it." <laughs> So this is this is going to be my one two three third year fourth year this is my third or fourth year judging fourth year fourth yeah. year judging and it's been we've had some really amazing judges over the years we've had uh, assorted celebrity judges who have come in from different locations um, this year can you go through a few of the judges that we have this year uh, including some of our historical judges so people can get an idea of uh, the expertise that you've brought in for this competition. Yes, of course. Um, so basically uh, for the fifth anniversary, uh, we decided that we were going to take a mix of the last uh, editions. And basically we selected the judges that we think are the highest qualified and also fit the, fit the total group uh, the best. Because, as you know, uh, to have a good vibe at the house is very important. Um, and also the, the, the intensity of judging. There's always some judges that, you know, they, they just smoke. And you have judges that are really digging into it, like you are doing with, uh, you know, with searching for the truth, you know? Right. right. And that, yeah. And, and basically, we all have those judges this year. So, yeah, it's going to be an amazing week. Oh, man, I'm excited. And I love the new uh, concept of the influencer judges. Also, when I talked to you last time, you didn't uh, you didn't want to give away any of that yet. Are you ready to give away the secrets of who some of those are? Basically, nothing changed upon that. It's the same two as that we have, uh, uh, um, which I know is last time, which is King Size um, and which is Sydney. Um, and they will judge from their home because they are too busy to go a week into the house. They have their, uh, you know, their shows and their performances and their stuff to do. Um, but we're very honored that they are willing to take the time to take their two uh, uh, favorite categories and judge them uh, separately uh, for us. Right. Um, and yeah, as far as it comes down to the industry judges, um, you asked me before a few names about those and I uh, forgot to tell you that. Um, so obviously you are, uh, are, are there. Um, we have uh, Nico uh, from Cannabis Medic Germany. Um, yeah, he's one of my favorite judges. Um, he's really, really like you going behind the dot and he's really, uh, he loves what he's doing. <clears throat> um, then, uh, um, yeah, we also have uh, Dominic from Gizeh. Um, Dominic is coming together with Pascal also uh, from Gizeh, 
Um, so that's from the mascot company, the German part. Um, these guys are both experts in what they're doing. What they're doing. Um, we have Craigy from the, the Coffee Shop League um, and from Weedfeed. So yeah, he's been our, our um, extract judge from day one. The man. Um, yeah, so he's with us uh, again. Then we have the uh, we have uh, the two judges from Candy Crew. Um, they will be our edible experts. Um, Candy Crew is a sponsor of the event, but it doesn't enter any uh, any products this year because yeah, we asked them if they would like to be a judge. And as you know, that when you're a judge, you cannot enter yourself. So um, so that's why they decided. Okay, we want to be presenting sponsor this year um, together uh, with Club Animo. And with the cat, um, they are our presenting sponsors. Um, so big shout out to those guys. And um, yeah, the rest of the judges. Uh, basically, uh, I, I I think that it's better to uh, uh, you know leave a little bit of tip of the uh, iceberg. And uh, you they, maybe uh, you can see them at the house. You know, yeah, when you're there. Excellent. And you mentioned the house. Let's talk a little bit about the house because that's kind of a very unique feature, I think, in any of these kind of cup scenarios is that you each year you you deck out some killer kind of crib. And uh, last year it was fantastic. We had everybody in this big giant place and, uh, you know, everything that you could possibly need in there and lots of space for all of us to be able to grab a little spot set up and be able to do our work and and interact with each other. And man, oh man, was that fantastic. Tell us about this year's house. What did you get uh, put together for us? Um, well, it's extra special. <laughs> uh, we have a, we created a little bit more budget uh, because also the time-wise, we are there uh, one day longer. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are there one day longer than we normally are at. Um, so this gives all the gives all the judges one day extra judging. Plus, um, we are in Zandvoort already, and normally uh, we are somewhere else in the country. Um, because I also want to show the judges not only the Amsterdam area, but also yeah, you know some some more of the country. Um, but this year for the fifth anniversary, we decided to stay in, uh, in Zandvoort. So we have a, a beautiful uh, villa. Uh, in Zandvoort, and uh, which is a lot of has a lot of space and a lot of green around, and um, yeah, you know we're into green, so uh, that's always good. It's um, but also a nice environment. Plus, yeah, we don't want to bother people around, so it's always good to have a, a house where you have enough space. Yeah. Um, as you know, there will be quite some smoke produced during the week, so you don't want to have uh, you know people around that uh, being bothered by that. Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Not having to worry about that, the security part of that is all fantastic. And, you know, again, when you're dealing with this number of, of cultivars and, you know, the there's a, the categories are extensive and uh, the, the crossover is wild. I think it's, um, I'm excited. Uh, again, I, I, it's been a few years now. So, uh, you know, I, I know what, to look forward to and what's going to happen. I'm still very excited, dude. And uh, uh, you just finished doing something which I think you should be super proud of. Is uh, you just finished the uh, a cup in Germany, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're not uh, even legal yet. No, man. We basically had the first uh, official uh, cannabis cup in the history of Germany um, because there was never a cup like this out in the open. And yeah, we're very proud of that. We still get a lot of good responses. Uh, the, German, the German people are amazing. They are ready, 100%. Uh, I can't be uh, more thrilled about how this is going. Yeah. Um, also for next year, yeah, we definitely look forward to, uh, to another collaboration uh, uh, with Mary Jane. Um, we also invited them to the cup over here. So they will come over uh, to Zandvoort. Um, and yeah, like, like you said, it was the first time we didn't know what to expect um, because we always had like a, a B2B event, which is a, a closed party, basically. Nobody else comes there except for the people that we invite. And now you had like 30,000 people walking around. Um, and also what was a bummer was that the area we were in, they only uh, had a limited amount of people that they let into the building. 
Um, so that's where, when, yeah, you know, you don't have the full flow. Yeah. Um, but this, these are all learning points and these are all things where uh, next year is going to be different. Yeah. And dude, honestly, uh, and, and I told you this in the very beginning when I first heard that you were putting this together and that it was going to happen. This is great for you. Next year, when everything's legal, you're already, you're into your year number two. You've already tested the waters. You've already had a chance to interact. Everybody knows that you're there now. And what you did this year, I thought was very clever because you took the, you know, no THC products obviously could be judged while you were there in Germany. So you had uh, judges here judge the yeah. THC products. Great yeah. idea, man. And that worked out extremely well. Thanks, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, as you know, running a cup, uh, I mean, yeah, I showed you some insights in the, in the, the past years they did do it with us. Um, it's a very risky thing uh, to do, but also we have to ad ad adapt as much as we can to the rules. Um, and if we go into a country where it's about to become legal, then we don't want to, you know, stir the pot. We don't want to be the ones that kick the knees. Um, so we decided to keep it, sm keep it smooth, do all the CBD judging uh, from Austria and do all the uh, THC judging from the Netherlands. And it worked out very good. We had uh, some great judges, and uh, yeah, as you know, <laughs> as you know, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I, and here's the other thing that's really interesting. Now, the last couple of years, the judges that we that that were working on this for the most part, we've all been together, and we've all had a chance to kind of compare the notes and say, "Look, oh, I saw this. I found this. I did this." This was the first time in a couple of years judging a cup where we were all separated. And so we didn't have a chance to do the collaboration, but what happened? We all ended up with pretty much the the, the same numbers, right? Yeah, it was uh, extraordinary to see that, especially the import categories and the extract categories, the uh, three judges were all almost all one-on-one. -on -one. So there were two judges, uh, King Size and Craigie from, we, uh, from the, the Coffee Shop League, Mm -hmm. They had the same uh, extracts and almost the same uh, import flowers. And that's something which is pretty unique from a distance because normally you go into the house and then you can also discuss with each other, you know, like uh, what's your favorite bud and what do you think of this one and this one. And, but then you have an entire week to go back and forth with each other. Right. And now this was a total different thing because you're from home. You don't know when you judge something, you know. So like you say, the interaction wasn't like that. And uh, it's cool to see that people are, uh, you know, it shows how good the expertise of these people is. We're going to be in that house for a week. And then at the end of the week, there's an award ceremony, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And what, what's happening at the, the ceremony and uh, who's going to be there? So basically, um, September 10th on Sunday, that's when we have the, the event. Um, doors will open at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, and then we'll have several uh, um, exhibitors uh, around the, the premises. Um, this year, we have a separated VIP area from the main area. Um, we'll have uh, different VIP lounges. Um, so like sponsors, they have their own. Uh, like, uh, you know, lounges, so they got like a table with a, with a bench and with like two seats and they got, they are being served all day. Uh, so they are being wine and dine. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we have uh, Dan, of course, coming in from uh, the U.S. Um, Jack's son, Dan Hare. Yeah, Jack's son. So Dan Hare, he's coming, uh, coming back. He was with us in Berlin. And he's now also coming uh, uh, to Amsterdam for uh, uh, a week. Um, he's going to be a, a speaker. So around 7.30ish, uh, 7 o'clock, he will, uh, uh, um, you know, have a, a little speech. Um, he'll talk a little bit about his, his dad, what he's been doing in the past, and also about what the, where the company is going. Um, and then at 8 o'clock, we have the award ceremony. And yeah, that's of course the 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 moment supreme where everybody is coming for. Mm -hmm. and, and, where, uh, and this is happening at which which location now? Uh, it's at Sandy Hill. Um, so for everybody who that never heard of Sandy Hill, um, it's the same location as we have been doing it the past two years, but then it was called Tam Tam. 
Um, Tam Tam has been sold to a new owner uh, from Sandy Hill. And uh, we had a good uh, conversation with the new owners. We explained them what we do. And they really liked our concept and they would love to continue the concept with us. So uh, Sandy Hill is the, is the place to be uh, this year. That's fantastic. Now, if you're a member of the general public and you wanted to uh, be part of the cup, um, I, I understand the general public is able to vote. Uh, when, how does that all work and when does that start? Uh, the general public is, uh, um, they can start voting from the same day as the judges in the judge house are starting to judge. That will be next Sunday, uh, September 3rd, until Saturday, September 9th. That's when the uh, um, lines are open, as, uh, as we call. Um, all the attending shops will be on the website at a special page. Um, so when you go to the website and click on the banner, then you'll go to the voting website. Um, so you can see all the attending shops over there. Um, and yeah, that's where I think is the coolest part. Uh, um, you know, I, I uh, understand that as a consumer judge, it's almost impossible. We have now 26 uh, coffee shops. Wow. So in a week, it's quite impossible to visit them all 26. <laughs> but it's cool to visit, you know, like five, six of them. Um, buy different flowers in the same category. Like if you're an Indica smoker, then go to five shops, buy five of the Indica entries and take the best of those, you know, and then be your own judge at home. Um, it's like a little competition. Plus also it's good to support your local shop, um, but also the coffee shops in general. Yeah. Um, reason why for me is that there's so many shop owners. They are really, really, really putting their ass out on the line every day. And they provide like high quality products. Um, that's why we decided, you know, to start to do our thing uh, uh, nine years ago in Vegas for the first time. Um, because there are so many breeders that are, are, are not recognized for the quality that they make. And there are so many coffee shops that put out their ass every, every day and have a beautiful product. And there's also coffee shops that they, they don't give a shit. They just put some products on the shelf. They don't test it. They, what's the price? And they sell it. It's a, and, you know, there's a big difference between those two shops. And as a consumer, I would rather go to a shop that has everything, you know, spot on and have a ship in order than to go to a shop that doesn't care. Because if it doesn't care about its products, why would it care about me? Exactly. Couldn't have put that any better, dude. Okay, so now what's the website address they can go to again? That's uh, jackherrickcup.eu. Um, so jackherrickcup.eu or .ml. That's the, the, uh, goes to the same page. And from there, everything will explain, uh, will explain itself. And can the general public attend the award ceremony or is there any kind of VIP scenarios where people can, can come? Um, the general public uh, won't be allowed because it's a business to business event. Um, I'm really sorry to tell you guys. Um, I got like, I don't know, man, maybe over uh, 40 DMs from consumers that, uh, you know, they ask us like, how can, where can we buy tickets? Can we come? And then we're asking if it's a consumer or business. And then it's like, yeah, I'm a consumer, but I would love to join. It's a business to business event. So it's for the people from the industry that are working daily in, and are very busy. And, you know, for them to connect with the industry is, yeah, you know, rarely. So if we can provide a platform, what we've been doing for the past four years here, um, that where, where business owners can easily connect with each other. Yeah, that's uh, uh, um, part of, of why I think our concept is, is yeah, quite successful. Well, I'm an honor, uh, honored to be part of it. I'm excited to to get to work this year. Um, I have so much respect for you and what you have been able to accomplish here over the last few years. And uh, congratulations on making uh, number five. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you. you next week, dude. Yeah, man, me too. It's going to be a uh, badass. Um, I'm really happy that you, you're with us. Um, we're going to do a podcast at the house, right? Yes, absolutely. And probably a couple of them because we've got a lot of people to talk to and everybody's got something to say. So yeah, I think we're going to be cranking out a couple of them while we're there. 
That's awesome. So maybe we can uh, give away like uh, I don't know, like uh, two like or two or a few goodie bags at the next podcast. Oh yeah. We made some new cool shirts and we made some hoodies and uh, yeah, to do some Absolutely. shout out to the people that are following you and uh, shout show you love as well. You know. That sounds fantastic. I'm excited, man. Zanport next week. Let's do this. Yes. To you guys. Thanks a lot, Captain. Thanks Peace, for having brother. us. Thank you so much. Peace.